Oh man. It was close yesterday, and now it's close today. The stupid 22 second tie up point. First of all, he should have gotten to him. Oh God, man, that is fucking bullshit. There's a point to the last 12 minutes was probably the most intense paintball these guys have ever played. Uh, Moncton was doing crazy run-throughs, coming out with like points out of it that we didn't think was possible. You know, uh, guys that we thought were hit weren't hit. Um, you know, and, and some bad luck too. We got a major in the last five minutes. Adam Howell played an amazing one-on-one. -on -one. Guy comes out of the penalty box and wins another one-on-one. -on -one. Huge immense high for our team and then we come out and they pull two run-throughs in a row on us, which really, really hurt. The, the main thing on this field is keeping track of the kills. The moment you lose track of them, uh, you start moving up the field, you're running into guns, you're, you're making mistakes, and, uh, and that's probably the biggest thing that we learned was just control and focus. They did a real good job figuring out where our bodies were coming from. Well, we kept teeing them off the snake every time and they started to give up on that. And I think we should have taken the lanes off that snake a little bit more and focus on the Dorito side. Right now we're sitting in sixth place. We just got a tie, so that's an extra point out of it. Um, Shields and Roxborough both lost their games today, so I think that might put us up in a decent seed so that we're not worried about our franchise. Um, but I mean, we're still not going to give up on that next game. That next game is still as crucial to keep our respect out for the rest of the teams and uh, make sure that we can pound some people into the ground. Uh, well, we, we certainly know that we don't have the, uh, the points to, to squeak into to Nax with the wild card, especially now with the Western Division only having seven teams and getting the, uh, the percentage um, upgrade. So, yeah, as a coach, it's always in the back of your mind, especially if you're not seated near the top, that you're always worried about, you know, like what's going to happen at the end? Uh, what would happen if you would bump down? Um, like, no coach can tell you it's not in the back of their mind. You're worried about it because there's a lot of money involved in this sport. Um, the only advice I can give is if you are making the bump down, you gotta find a way to rebuild your team to take that win because technically you should be the strongest team in that division. So you should be able to pull that win out and make it back in the CXBL. Yeah, message for you guys, big props for pulling out uh, that big tiebreaker right there. We didn't think you had the balls to pull a second run through, but you did. Um, and uh, we thought we had the cross and it was a little missed communi communication out there. You guys ran through, you took the point. Um, you know, much, much props to you guys because we were thinking about doing the exact same thing to you and uh, we pulled the safe move and you guys pulled it out. Yeah, I'm on kids. Um, get a better coach. Uh, I think, you know, knowing that um, you guys were getting uh, pushed up against the wall, uh, you probably should have reacted to that and um, not tried to uh, just stay back in gun battle. Um, we we started to, to to move aggressively on you and. Uh, I think basically you, you just stepped back kind of like we did in the first half. You just kind of moved back and you were tucked up against your bunkers. As soon as you get into that Snake 50, all the guns turn to that area and we flush down the Dorito side. So um, come back strong, you know, keep practicing and, and good luck.